Hello. Nomad Sculpt, um, Efficient and Quick Part 5. Um, such a gold bar. I saw a video. Um, yes, you can sculpt this gold bar with a trim function and a, a smooth brush, um, but let's do it effic efficient and quick. Um, let's go to Nomad Sculpt. Um, like this one and here's a scene vertices of this object um, or i turn the wireframe on it's only twelve thousand uh, vertices um, and um, okay i create a new one we need a box in the topology reduce it to um, nothing and turn the wireframe on um, and now you can validate this object in the um, symmetry. Um, choose the planes, uh, the X plane and the Z plane and go in the front view. And now use the cell mask to uh, mask the bottom of the object and use a gizmo. With a gizmo, you can uh, scale this object in this direction uh, you can bring it down to create the shape of the gold bar and do it also in this direction then change the symmetry only the set plane and turn on the symmetry on the left side and here uh, sorry that's a wrong um, we have to unmask it, hold the mask and swipe. And now you can scale it in this direction. Now you got a, a very clean uh, shape of the gold bar. And okay, in the topology, you can change, uh, you can use the multi-resolution, turn on the flat subdivision, subdivide it one time, two times, and now turn the flat subdivision off and subdivide it one, one time again. And um, let's turn off the wireframe and in the paint, you can paint it with your gold, choose the yellow color and metalness and now this one is ready um, only a few steps uh, without using a, a brush okay um, in the now let's turn on the wireframe and here in the display settings you can um, turn on off smooth shading here you see this object is yes looks like this and now we can use more subdivisions um, subdivided one times two times to get a smoother um, uh, surface and okay that's the gold bar and now um, for the uh, text on the bar we use the internet and there are free apps, um, web applications like text to STL. Um, I'm, uh, the link is below in the description uh, now, but uh, there are many uh, such tools. And here you can create your text as an STL file. Um, type of shape is this one. And here type in your text, um, fine, gold, sorry, nine, 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 nine. It's uh, centered and the settings is okay. And here you can choose uh, hundreds of fonts um, yeah 
um, which one I hmm, I saw. Hmm. La 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 la. I'm around. Let's use this one. Um, there you can play around like you want. Export it and save it back to Nomad. In the uh, projects uh, you can import, add to scene. Yes, and here we can use um, this uh, STL file. Bring it in, in Nomad. It's a little bit bigger than your uh, gold bar. Um, you can move it to the origin and scale it down and reset the view. Oh, not this top view. Bring it in position. In the right right view and here uh, let's scale it in uh, make it a little bit higher bring it here and bring it like this because we want to uh, use a boolean function we can now hide this object, select the gold bar and in the voxel remesh settings go real high 500 and turn on keep sharp edges and voxel merge this object. Um, now the text is cut it out and now we need a, a brush setting. Um, we can use, um, uh, where is it? The smooth brush. In the smooth brush setting, um, you can turn on grab dynamic radius um, and use uh, intensity of 100. I think it's okay. And pick the, the object and um, brush here. Okay, let's paint it. Okay. Let's test it out um, with a decimation. Decimation one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, six times. Okay. Wireframe off. And now turn on the smooth shading. And now, okay, now we got only 7,000 uh, voxels. You can uh, use a higher resolution of the mesh. But, um, yes, it looks okay. And you can use also the paint uh, tool. There's a depth filtering setting. And choose a little bit of a darker gold. Symmetry on, and now you can brush the ground of the yes, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.